this is my first OliDBG tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to um, find the password of a certain program. Or actually, I'm going to make it so that no matter what password you type in, the program will think it's the right one. I think that's more fun. Okay, um, first you open OliDBG like I already did. And then th the program that I want to crack. Alright, I'm going to enter in any random password and click login. And it'll give me this message that says, you are not authorized to use the application. And that's because I entered in a wrong password. I'm going to load this application to OliDBG. You just drag the application to OliDBG. Uh, I get a random message, but just click OK. Alright, we're going to find that message that says that I'm not authorized. To find that message, you click, uh, you go to search for, and then you search for the text. Uh, oh, never mind, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I already found where the message is. Wow, what a new program. This, when you open it, it already shows you where it is. Alright, um, this black thing, highlighted black thing right here, is where the program first starts reading its code. So it's reading code, read this code, it reads this code, reads this code, all this stuff does nothing. It reads this code, and here we see something interesting. JE short password 00457728. This is a conditional jump. A conditional jump means if the condition is right, then this thing would jump to 00457728, which is, where is it? Uh, here, see? 00457728, which leads us to the bad message. Um, if the con if the condition is not satisfied, then the program just keeps reading and doesn't do that jump. So, so it just keeps going like this, and blah 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 blah. Okay, um, we don't want the jump. We don't want this jump to work because if it works, it jumps to this the thing here, and it'll give us the bad message. So, um, oh yeah, it's gonna you want to know how this conditional what activates this conditional jump? Well, right above it is test al al. AL is default AL 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 is automatically zero. So this sees if zero is the same as zero, then this conditional jump will work. And then it will jump to here, like I said, and give you the bad message. Well, it's kind of obvious that zero is gonna be zero, so we're gonna make this jump here, conditional jump here not work. So that it doesn't jump to here, give me that bad message like I said like fifty times. Okay, anyway, um, to make this conditional jump not work, you simply just right click on it, you go to binary, and fill with NOPs. That means, NOP means no operation. That means you basically just make that address, that conditional jump, not operate. So after you fill up the conditional jump of NOPs, which makes it not work, the program goes reading, 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 reading. Reading goes past this because it doesn't work anymore. Reading, 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 reading. Goes and it goes onto this jump. JMP means jump. It jumps to zero zero four five seven seven four zero, which is here. See, so it it jumps totally from uh, here to here. It totally skips this part right here, which gives me the bad message. And then yeah, when it keeps going, it'll eventually you eventually land on the good message. Alright, let's see if I'm right. Uh, we click play, so it runs the program with our edits. The program opens up. We type in any random password. Alright, we click login. And yeah, we're in the main part of the program. It says you're authorized to use the application. 